Hi everybody, I am going to be painting on Nameless today and I just wanted to show you something while I was getting ready before I start. Um, you guys have over the years given me this tip back to me for a lot of times. So I want to show you how I do it. Okay, so I have a little Tupperware container and a, a wet napkin and I put the wet napkin in here. If I'm having a busy day at work, this this helps this helps me a little bit, but because I paint so fast and um, I've done it so long, I only use this on really heavy days where I'm doing a lot of nails. So here is one of the tiles I use like always in all my videos. Okay, so before I do, I spray it with water and I set it down. Spray it with water, I have black and white and set it down. Now, if you wanted to, you could get a tile ready for every single one of your clients and then just put that behind your desk and then pull them as you get your clients one after the other. But this is a good way to keep your nail, um, your, your paints wet while you're waiting between clients uh, or while you're setting up just to keep your time because if you guys know, as soon as you get busy, you start dropping stuff. And to have things pre-made on your days that you're really, really busy is a good idea. So anyways, I hope this helps you, and I will start Nameless in just a moment. Okay, so I'm here with Nameless, and I have a dark green nail polish. And I'm going in just haphazardly. I start at the, the side, and then just kind of roll the finger, and give myself a polished base. And that's so that it lasts two to four weeks. If you don't do that, then it will just, it'll, it'll rub off the tips. So now I'm going into, I'm just going to work from this area. So, so what I was filming earlier, I have it like this, just so, just so you're following along. Tell me if you like it this way better, if you notice, or, or if you want me to uh, film this way. So I'm going in to that green and black mixture. I put a little bit of black into the, into the neon green. And with my wand at robinmosesnailart.com, um, I'm pushing in the, the leaves. So um, that's too light. I'm adding more black. And I just wanted to kind of blend in as leaves coming out of the fringe. And like that. Okay. Then with pink, which I used the, the neon pink with white, um, I'm going to go and put through the nail pink flowers like that just the five prong if you if you're having problem with flowers go to the beginners playlist and I have all different kinds of flowers three four five all different kinds okay so when it's done it'll look like this that's with the pink now we're gonna go with a blue so the blue I'm just gonna do just maybe a tiny little flower like this Maybe, you know, just, just, just have little wispies of flowers in blue, right? Then I'm going to go with purple. Now I'm just going to take some purple and add white to it. So it's a lavender. <clears throat> okay, see how it's still not all the way mixed on the top end of my brush? This will allow me to get purple and white mixed together in stripies like those daisies. You see, so like that. Okay, if you're not uh, advanced at learning daisies, here how you do. Here's how you do it. You go one, two, make them kiss. One, two, make them kiss. One, two, one, two, and that's how you make the daisies. And then um, I might go in and just add these little black meandering lines. Oh, this is a green. Let me add more black. meandering lines like this and they're going to go down into the nail polish here and there that might be a little bit too dark but it doesn't matter I'm going to cover it and then with that blue again I'm going to make it look like that is a little tree of blue of blue flowers like that and then if you have to, if, 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 the, if everything gets a little bit too abstract, get a little white and then just kind of dab it in 
to the design. That gives it dimension. So if you have a blob, you can just add a little white to that blob. It gives it dimension and actually makes it look like a flower. So that's a, that's a good way to like cover mistakes and add to a design where maybe you made something real ugly and you want to keep going. So that, see how that just makes it poof. Now I'm gonna go in with the neon pink and go about halfway through the center of these flowers and pop them. Ooh, see, I had a little trick for us. And then that will make it more brilliant. And um, center the flowers however you wish, but if you, okay, you can do black first. That makes it a little bit more dark. Or, okay, so there's black. And I'm just gonna put the yellow in the center like this. But then I put it in the center of this black and it pops it even more. And it adds more dimension. And then you just build with the flowers and then you have this little bouquet of beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more green. Cover some of the black here with leaves. And do you see how it begins to like go one over the other, over the other, over the other? That's what we want, okay? I'm going to go through each nail and just kind of just make a bouquet and I'll meet you back. Okay, so now I have all of this in. Okay, um, I made another blue that was a little bit lighter and um, just mix the white and the blue together so it was a lighter blue and I went over the top of each one just in case you guys notice that these are lighter. I also added a yellow daisy in there and kind of mix and match the yellow and the orange. Now for the last nail, I have thumb. Okay, I, I, I painted two dark gray, like an M, 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 that, that goes into a circle. So, so if I was going to paint an M, one line down, one line down. Then I went boom, boom. Now I'm gonna go in with white and a little bit of black so it's a lighter gray. And um, here we go. I'm gonna go in to the center first. And this is kind of thick. Okay, sit. That's okay. That's Carl. And and then and then like this and if you can't get it perfect that's okay just as long as it looks a little bit like an M that's all we need then down across like this like that. just kind of stipple that and then go across again to the back that and then stipple this a little puffy thing that's his tail then you know what I can do his whole head right here just just like kind of like peeking out sometimes you can fit a head uh, the whole head and sometimes you can't but if you can't you just throw a flower and just keep the ears and that's fine as long as it translates and and because um, Easter is something that man a lot of my clients are are not like huge on easter and so this gives easter vibes without having to go all out easter and it's on a thumb so you don't just sit and stare at rabbits and chickens you know like that is for some people like me <laughs> exactly exactly i'm not going to get the whole easter egg hunt on this girl <laughs> I can try, you know, like I think she'd do me a solid, but like I'd have to, she'd collect. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you? You, would you know it, bro, you know yeah. it. So, okay, so here um, is the little eyeballs. I'll just do, I'll just do a cute little rabbit face. This is just the little eyes, a nose, like this. Then I'm gonna go back in to the black with the new paint, get it nice and thin, take a breath, Exhale to the little bottom. Then just add a little bit of pink to the little cheeks. 
and you know there's the 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 the, the way you do that the head of the rabbit and, and all the highlights is endless endless there's so many you can do traditional you can do old-fashioned you can do fat you can do skinny and lean you can do any kind you want uh, you can do all kinds oh I'm gonna just do a little foot you a jolly bunny you could do an evil bunny yes we've done that we've <laughs> that evil client so see how you just just I just did a little thing like that and I made his little foot so it's like he's coming out of the flowers then when I highlight with white it just let it just jumps it out that much more so this is the white. I'm just highlighting little dabs here and there. Little dabs on the top here. And that. Okay. And then lastly, if you're feeling really, really jerky, you can um you can really try and do okay. You really try and do the whiskers of the rabbit as thin as I have a circus sideshow trying to do these whiskers. I'm like, keep Carl off of me. <laughs> there we go. There. And then you can go in with a little bit more pink and then cover your lines up because now you don't need them. You just need your lines to just tell you where you're at so you don't get lost and then end up having everything out of place. Then with the white, go across. And with the black, finish the eyes. And there you have your little rabbit. You don't have to do the rabbit in this design. This design is just a floral. And I'm gonna have it in the flowers playlist. This is just a little bunny that I threw in at the end. So, all right, so there's a bunny. Mm -hmm. Snuck him in on me. You'll love him. <laughs> Come on. He's love. pretty dang cute. He's cute enough. All I'll right. Give you that. So here's the end, uh, and I'm gonna top coat with a matte or a shiny. Which one you want? We're doing matte. All right. See you in a minute. Okay, and here is the end result. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see, and then I'm gonna let Nameless show you. Okay. Um, here you can. Okay, to get it to go Sorry. in frame. Is it in frame? Yep. Okay, so just show it as close as you can before it goes out of frame. Anyways, I've done all of this with the wand. It's available at robinmosesnailart.com. If you try these, please tag me, inspired by Robin Moses, um, with the hashtag, or hashtag Team Robin Moses, so I can see them on my Instagram. If you tag me, I can see them. Every month we do collaborations, and you can see that at Robin Moses Collaborations on the hashtag on Instagram, and you can see all the pictures that everybody does. And um, I just want to say thank you for watching, and this will be in my flowers playlist and in my Easter playlist. Can you show the bunnies? And this is with Dazzle Dry Top Coat. It is um, at DazzleDry.com. Please tell Dazzle Dry that I gave them a shout out because I love them. Great, great polish. Lasts three to four weeks without any kind of wear or tear. And can you guys both say that that's true? For sure. Oh yeah. Definitely. And I'm yeah. hard on them, so. They both are very hard on them. So, so those are products that I believe in and they um, cost a little bit, but I think that you have to spend on a few products to have nails that last and uh, brushes and top coat are essential. All the rest is done with acrylic craft paint. And um, I was just giving you guys some time to really look this design over because it's really beautiful. Anyways, I'll see you back with more. Also, I have a butterflies playlist and if you add, if you go in there and find one and you painted one on there, I would love that. So try it. Or a little Ooh, bumblebee. Good that would call. be cute. I forgot. So you guys can pick that up and uh, show me. Hashtag inspired by Robin Moses. Boom. <laughs> Boom.